According to officials Looking who are for no weapon? with the ongoing investigation. Heard you've taken out your fair share of monsters. care of my equipment, you hear? Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I want, but I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. And now, the weather report. They crossed the line. Focus. I'll show you what I can do. 
I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot, 
Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? I'd love to say something, but I don't work here. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. I want to become strong just like you. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most box. We usually don't let adults play, but well, since you're you cool, we're going to take. Do that, see? Pretty fun, right? Play 
play with us again, okay? Yeah. We'll be here whenever you... Wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Poopo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic, Poopo? Next time, 
Keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. A certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself... Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slum. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that shit. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you, but I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? What? Do I know the guard? Well, I don't. As far as I'm... If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is... So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as it. <gasps> Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but... Uh, well, uh, uh... Well, a 
good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Have a plan first, then act. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. vital information for my I look forward to receiving that
kinda in a rush, so... One more shot! No turning back. What the? It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Too bright. Get him. For you. Every little bit helps. <laughs> You've got this. Of all the times. Get ready. <laughs> I'm coming! You can do it! Need to heal up. Let's do this. Here he comes! Brace yourself! Go on! Calling lightning. One more shot. Get him. Sorry. This one's for you. Maybe this? Tagging out! All right. Okay. <laughs> One more shot! Brace yourself. what I can do. Fight through it. This one's for you! Yes! Yeah. 
long. Buzz off. You're done. This one's for you. No holding back. Sorry. One more shot. Too bright. This one's for you. Yeah. Keep back. 
Molly likes it. <laughs> Time to get serious. One more shot. There. You're mine. You're out of luck. I'd keep my distance if I were you. And catch! This one's for you! Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it, pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning! If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Cause they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. I wish I could have helped. Try to. Oh. Yeah.